In the last tutorial, we have implemented this model bottom sheet. Now we need to define the drop down button here. But before that, we get started, we wrote this code in here, which is a function. And for me, I prefer to keep the logic outside of the UI. So for that, I coded this function and now we can create a new file and the services and we can name it services or itools for example. I would name it services.dart in here and we now we can create a class called services in here and then uh, of course here capital and then we can define a static method which is will be a future of type void and now we can name it um, let's say show model sheet and now since it is a future we need to add the async keyword here so it will be like that and now the error is gone now we can paste what we have and we can import the required packages so now we need to import the material package the constants class we need to pass in the context and we need to import the text widget so now let's pass in the context so we can pass it as a required argument so just like that now the error is gone now we can use this class in order to call this method so in here we can await and we can call the services class and show this model bottom sheet now restart the application and then press here and here it is still working just like before now we need to create the drop down button for that, I will create a new file here and I will name it drop down dart. And now we can create a stateless widget or stateful widget, and you will see why. And now we can name this drop down widget or model. So drop down widget, like that. Okay. So now we need to define the drop down button like that and we need to give it the items and we need to give it the function unchanged so for the unchanged it takes a value and we need to do something so what can we do is um, i will convert this to a stateful widget and then we need to define the current model or a string for example but in my case i will define the current model because we will have a default model and we will have a chosen model so we need to override this current model and later on it will be clear for you so don't worry so let's say any current model let's say model one like that and then here we set state the current model and put it equal to the value just like that okay now we have an error on the value we can convert it to a string like that and that's it now we can give it initial value or we need to give it this value and we can put it equal to the current model let's name it current model not models like that okay so what left in here is to add the items which is a list of drop down menu items so we can create this list of items somewhere else and then we can call it here so we can define it in the constants for example anyways these are in our case now we will use dummy data but later on we will be fetching it from the api so now for the dummy data i already created a list of models i will paste it in the constants file here if i come back to the drop down file in here and i hover on it it is a type of this type so what we can do is to create a getter for it and the constants class so in here we can create a getter and let's name it get models item like that and here we need to return something and uh, we don't have a class so we don't have to add the static and we need to return something as i said so let's define a list of this type so i can copy this and say for example models items and let's set it equal to this list and then we can call generate to it and to generate we can call the models dot 
length like that and let's add the semicolon in here just for formatting okay so we need to return something in our case we will return the drop down menu items like that and we need to give it the child in our case it will be a text I will use the text widget and we can give it the label and in our case it will be the models and we need to pass in the index like that let's give it size font size of 15 now format our code and what we can do in here also we can add the value and the value will be also the models index like that and now we can return this model item here and now the error is gone so what we can do is now we can get this and use it and here for the items just like that and we need to import this class and that's it now we can use this widget inside of the services next to this text field so in here let's wrap it by flexible widget and the child will be our widget like that and import it and for the flex argument I will give it two. now save or restart of course press here and now I have it here okay of course we need to add the background color so for the background color you can add the drop down color and put it to the scaffold background color and uh, for the icon we can use the color of white color okay now save it press again and here it is it looks like that now just one more thing is I want to add for this row the main axis alignment and put it space between and now it looks like that okay as I said this data will be we will be fetching it later on from the API and soon we will start with the API since we finalized everything for the UI for this application okay the last thing left for the API is to animate this text just like chat GPT as I showed you before but this thing we will keep it later on when we start generating the responses okay so this is for the UI part I'll see you next with the rest API